right, we're back. Another week of picks after last week's successful week. Went 10 and 3 after uh, switch two picks right before both fighters were kind of walking out. I seen something, I had a feeling, something my gut told me. Uh, the first fight was I had Morales, and then I just saw him walk out first. You know, I, he just didn't look. Like, he looked good, but he didn't look ready. And then I saw Jigga walk out, and he looked determined, and he looked focused, and just something told me that I needed to switch that. So I ended up taking Jigga by decision, and that's obviously what happened. And then the one other fight was... think of another one but the other fight whatever I forget who it was but I also saw uh, it's like backstage I saw him like warming up and the one dude was like kind of going through the motions I had originally picked and the other guy was like looking good and popping I, I can't think of that right now but um, I switched that and got that so luckily like I said you never know you could see something right before they walk out and you know that's why I say if you know you guys really want to know the like the solidified picks that I make each week look right up to the fucking moment that that guy walks out on stage because I'll switch that shit in my bio you know I think right until they step in the ring together and the ring the fight starts you're allowed to switch your pick no matter what that's just how it is that's how it is in the competition, so, but anyways, it was good with football, you know, besides Dak basically going down and ruining my fantasy football team, um, no, I, I should be alright, I just gotta get a solid quarterback, did win some money though, so, good successful week, feeling good, highest amount of my pot, you know, and I'll, maybe in the history in the longest time, we gotta take some money out now that it's this high, so, we're gonna get right into it though right now um not gonna go nuts this you know like i said i'm gonna get this video out early for you guys i've been putting it out on saturdays and fridays and it's just terrible so we got faras saham jamie malarkey you know faras saham he is a kickboxing guy you know decent strikes decent stand-up very young he just kind of It's just better than, you know, some of the guys he's faced. I, losing to Hayton Wu, it's a good veteran loss, but he did do Jamie Lapui. 13 6 1, and he knocked him out. That was in the second round, I saw that, and he looked pretty damn good there, and then Wu took control of him, dominated him. And then he kind of just got a couple of duds. He did beat Lovaras, who was a good, you know, a good solid veteran. The problem is, ZM doesn't fight anywhere, and Don Madge proved it. Um, Malarkey is not as aggressive as Don Madge, but probably better striking and just as good wrestling and top control. So, you know, I like Jamie Malarkey here. I think he battled with Brad Riddell in proving that, just watching that fight, and then how he... Uh, I watched his Volkanovski fight. I mean, until he got knocked out, he was competing with Volkanovski and kind of maybe even winning that fight at that point. So he's pretty good, man. I think he gets it done. He, I'd give him a little bit more of a veteran status over Faraz. You know, I think he's got the wrestling advantage. So I got Jamie Malarkey. I'm going to take him by decision. Second fight up, we got... I'm going to have to fly through this. Saeed Nurmagomedov and Mark Striegel. Mark Striegel, very top-heavy wrestler guy. Likes to spam wrestles. Takedowns just like Khabib. Decent chain wrestler. Not amazing, but he can he can chain you. Um, the problem with Striegel is he gasses out if he gets into the sec late second, third, every fight he does. I mean, 
you know, he's 18 and 2, so he's been able to survive against these guys. But if you're going to gas out against Saeed, even if you're winning a round and a half, maybe even that second round he's winning, Saeed's going to take over in the third. And I don't see him beating Saeed in the second round or third. So Strigel's got a first round or bust. I think Saeed's better everywhere besides probably jujitsu. But, you know, these Dagestani um, Russians. I know he's not related to Khabib, but whatever. There's something up. He's some kind of related out there in Russia. But, uh, yeah, he's just the stand-up so much better. So I got Saeed Nurmagomedov. Uh, I think he probably gets a unanimous decision, maybe even a split decision if Striegel kind of dominates the first round and gets him down a few times and gets some subs. But I got Saeed taking over. Third fight, not to Gulov and Maxim Grishin. Kind of hate both these guys. Both these guys suck, but Grishin is, was just fighting at heavyweight. Got controlled by Tybura. When he was standing up, he was kind of popping Tybura, and we saw Tybura pretty good stand-up against Rothwell. <laughs> Grishin's going back down, though. So let's see how sh in shape he is. Let's see what his uh, weight cut's like. If it looks good and he looks like he, you know, that light heavyweight that, you know, got him pretty good in the PFL, then I'm with him, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with him and I'll take him. But you watch him fight the fights he's got in draws against Jordan Johnson, you know, fucking Rama, like Ankalaev. I mean, these guys were just taking him down and wrestle fucking him. Jordan Johnson should have just won that. I don't know why they gave that a draw, but that's because Grishin is good stand-up. So Antigulov is like a poor man's Jordan Johnson, but like probably more of a veteran. Jordan Johnson is a gas tank. Antigulov, we know what we get from him. Wrestle heavy guy, get you down, tries to tap you out in the first. If he doesn't get you out in the first, or even early in the second, he's done. He'll ne he's never won a fight in the third round, and. I think he's rarely won a decision. I don't think he's got any decisions on us. <coughs> he's got one. He's got one decision win in his whole career. So, if that's going to tell you anything, bet the fucking under in this fight. Um, now, Maxim Grishin, he's not an overwhelming guy. Yeah, that's the problem. But... Because Antigulov is so kill like instant, try to get you out of there. Or I'm just gonna fucking gas out and die. Um, I mean, look at his losses. He hasn't even lost a decision. So you know he's either gassing out or going. So I find the best bet on this fight is bet the under for sure. Like I said, when I look at Grishin, it's like I don't want to take too long in there. This, but. He's won one, two, he's won a few decisions, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine decisions, I mean, that's kind of a lot, but it's half his record, almost half his record. But I think uh, Grishin gets it done, man. I think he turns it up and probably finishes Antigulov. But Antigulov could, he's live for that first round finish. So I would take Antigulov by finish or Grisham by decision that's, that's the only way I would bet this or Grisham by a late finish probably in the third like I said so I don't know if Grisham by decision is even smart moving on John Yoon Park John Phillips going John Yoon Park you know watching the tape Park's better everywhere he can get Phillips down Phillips just came off a devastating destruction from Kamzat He's got power, but Park can take punches. Unless John Phillips literally connects a few times, knocks him down and finishes him as the ref calls it, Park's going to win this. It's his fight to lose. I got John Young Park. Uh, probably take him by decision. Jillian Robertson, Pollyanna Botello. You know, tale of two worlds. Jillian Robertson, really good jiu-jitsu, really good takedown and swarming offense. Pollyanna Botello. Very good striking, way better stand-up kickboxing. Not so good takedown defense, though. Eh, it's, I mean, it's decent, but she hasn't really fought people as 
good as Jillian with takedowns, and the ones she has, she's lost. So, um, you know, you know what you're gonna get with Jillian. She's gonna try to overwhelm you, get you up on the cage, get you down, and Botello, you know, she might try to Muay Thai and drop bombs on you. Um, Cincelio Calvillo mm -hmm. took her down, chained her up. Wrestler Viviana Pereira took her down, chained her up, almost submitted her a few times. So, she's not that great of a fighter, but she has good stand-up. You know, Lauren Mueller couldn't get her down, hence really tried to get her down, so Poliana just teed her up. You know, if this stays standing, Jillian's probably fucked. But I think Jillian could get her down at least in the first two rounds, you know, and I think she'll win those two rounds. So I got Jillian Robertson by, um, unless she doesn't sub her early, I got her by split, uh, unanimous decision, 29-28. <coughs> So, we'll see. I don't know. I like the over one and a half. I think that should hit. I don't. I mean, one round for sure should end, and then just two and a half minutes of the second round. Like, if the first round ends, that's going to happen again. So, next fight, we got Matus Gamera, Garam Kutalads, another guy from, what is this, Georgia? Another Georgian wrestler. Yep. You know, he, he likes to wrestle you and get you down and control you. And uh, that's kind of what he does. I mean, he, he's gotten tapped out a few times. Uh, early on in his career, he got knee barred and then almost got tapped out by Oliver Ankamp. And we just saw Ankamp dominate. He's really good. So people, you know, he's fighting out of Brave. Brave uh, can't take anything out of Brave, man. I just don't like it. Uh, besides comms, I... What else you got? Aliaka, see, but he look at him. He just got worked by Tony. So I think Gamrot, man, he's he's got really top heavy wrestling. He's been in many five round fights. I mean, look at this guy. Um, one, two, three. He's been in like four or five round fights in his career. So this other guy hasn't been any. He's got cardio for days. He's been the fourth round multiple times and won. His next name's Gamer. And you know what I think about gamers, just like uh, um, Israel Adesanya. I think this guy, he's about to make a statement. Probably I could see him getting it finished. So I got Matus Gamrot. I'm going to go by TKO finish, but could even get a sub. I like him here, the pole. Uh, I think he's going to make a little splash and lightweight right now. Perfect time to get in the UFC at 17 and 0. I think he's 29. ATT wrestling. He's ready to go. Let's get it. Next fight, Claudio Silva, James Krause. This is a tale of two tapes as well. James Krause, man, he he'll be the bigger guy, which I like here. I mean, he's coming down from middleweight what he's weighed in at his last fight. And Claudio's Walter White. Now, Claudio, he's going to try to just gas himself out to get the takedown. And if he can get it down, Kraus could be in trouble, but I don't think he can continuously get Kraus down. I think stand-up Kraus is just too good, too big. I got James Kraus by a unanimous decision. Next fight, Thomas Almeida, Jonathan Martinez. Real tough fight. Um, I'm going to go with the veteran and Thomas Almeida. I'll probably switch it at some point. Check the description. A few, I bet you a few of these fights they need to, you know, I need to check out um, weigh-ins and how they face off. So <clears throat> that's the problem with early videos, but you got to do what you got to do. Change them in the description, you guys know. Thomas Almeida, I'm going to take him. I think uh, he's got some good wrestling. It will be smaller. Martinez has Better striking overall, good kick game. But Almeida, you know, he's kind of a beast, and if he he can summon the old, you know, three years ago Thomas Almeida, you know, he's 22-3 and three for a reason. So if he can find that guy, this is an easy fucking fight for Thomas Almeida against Jonathan Martinez. But if he's a weathered Thomas Almeida, then this is a fight for Martinez to take over. I mean, they're 135-34 rank, so... We'll see. They're right there. I got Thomas Almeida. I'm going to take him by split decision. Jimmy Crute, Modestus, Bukakus. I was high on Bukakus last fight against the Greek. Fucking rolled the Greek. B 
beat him up. You know, the Greek was going to take him down, and he just elbowed him in the side of that temple and ripped him. So he's smart like that, man. He, 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 Bukakus has been up on the cage his whole fucking career that he knows how to, like, attack from getting just caged up. So watch Jimmy Crute, Michael Azachuk. He's basically a better Modestus Bukakus. Not as big, not as rangier, but better overall fighter. Better takedown defense. And Jimmy Crute ragdolled that guy and ta tapped him out. <clears throat> I would not be surprised if Jimmy Crute just does the same thing. Probably gets a head and arm choke on Bukakus. Maybe even possibly like uh, Kimura again. But I got Jimmy Crute by sub. Um, I think he'd probably get in the first round, maybe even the second. Yeah, I mean, you know, this guy's been heel hooked. He's been KO'd. I just think Jimmy Crute's way better. He's not as good stand up, I would say, but he's way better uh, takedown and everything. Lukaku's is real bad takedown defense, so I think it's like 60 something percent for his career. It's not good. Jimmy Crute's going to spam your ass. I got Crute, though. Final three fights, we got Caitlin Chukagan, Jessica Andrade. This is, I was back and forth. I'm just keep going back and forth. I'll probably switch it because I was thinking Chukagian, 5'9", 5'1". But you know what? Jessica Andrade can take punches. She'll go head over heels to get Caitlin up on the cage. She'll pick her up. She'll drop her on the, with those limbs if she can get her up. But Andrade is so strong, and she's going to have 10 more pounds of power. Let's see how she looks. Hopefully she's not flabby. If she looks good. I think uh, she could finish Caitlin Chukagian. If not, she probably gets a unanimous decision. So I got Jessica Andrade. And for the co-main, we got Cyril Gan, Ante Delia. <sighs> this is tough, man, because Ante is that veteran, that you know, veteran kind of Croatian crazy fucking fighter. And Cyril Gan, we know what he is. Um, the line's insane, so I wouldn't bet it at all. But. I think, uh, ah, oh, damn, that hurt. I fucking did chest yesterday. Uh, don't have a sore chest and cough. It kills you. Strange you. But, uh, I gotta go with Cyril Gan. He's probably gonna lose. I don't know. Don't bet it, but it's a heavyweight fight, man. Anything can happen. Ante's a veteran. I'm inclined to maybe even take him, but when I see them at weigh-in, Cyril's going to look good. So, you know, let's just see what happens, and, you know, it's kind of a 50-50 fight for me, I think. But I, betting-wise, if you want to bet it, take Ante. That's probably about it, or the fight doesn't go to decision. We got the main event, Brian Ortega, Chance Sung Young. Another tough one, but I'm going to be what kind of a lot of people are on him. Chance Sung Young. He's the hotter fighter. He's fought more recently. Ortega's come off a two-year layoff, you know, after the beat down to Max Holloway. And listen, man, it's just uh, Ortega just got exposed. And Chan Sung Young, he's not as good as Max, but with striking, but he's more powerful and only has one less significant strike, so... Besides Ortega getting something flashy like a KO or maybe a standing guillotine or something on Young, I think this is Young all day. He's going to be the bigger fighter as well. Um, more range. I just think he, he's kind of better everywhere. Even at Jiu-Jitsu, he's just as good. So I got Chance of Young. I got him by... I got him by TKO. Maybe Dr. Stoppage. Um... And we'll see. I mean, I like Ortega. I wanted to take him, but I got to think with my brain and not my heart here. So, uh, as far as a parlay, I think if you do... Mm, Saeed Nurmagomedov, the over one and a half, Robertson, Botello, uh, Matus Gamrot, uh, Jimmy Crute, and Jessica Andrade, if you kind of get all of them, maybe finish it with Chance on Young, but a couple of those guys in a parlay, you should be good. You know, take some shots maybe on, <clears throat> even Jung Young Park could be solid, man. But, you know, Jamie Malarkey, there's a few out there, I, and there's some sleepers that I'm going to try to win some money on. So other than that, you know, send me uh, 
you know your picks in the comments let me know what you guys think you know who you disagree with and uh either tomorrow night or thursday probably going to be tomorrow night uh check uh me in arkansas out on our um uncut show so on his channel check that out.